Hi, I'm Gary White. And I'm Yvonne McNary. And we're here for Harness Racing 2013 at the Marion County Fair. It's a nice night, huh, Yvonne? Yes, it is. Even have a breeze, Gary. And uh, I know the weatherman predicted rain, rainstorms, and all that, but it's pretty nice out here right now. That's right. So we have a dry track over there right now. Yes, we do. We do. And Gary, I can't believe that it's harness racing time again. How quickly the time goes by. That's right. Seems like we were just out here not long ago uh, to watch some horses race. And of course, we had a wonderful time. We always do. That's right. And tonight, we have one this year, actually, for the fair. There's only one night of harness racing mm -hmm. as opposed to two. So they have all the racing on this Tuesday night as opposed to Tuesday and Wednesday like they normally do. So there's going to be actually eight races tonight. Wow, that's a lot of horses. Yes. That's well, a lot of races. That's right. <laughs> a lot of riders. Exactly. <laughs> and we've been talking to some people. I know you know a couple that have some horses in the races out here. Yes, I do. Uh, I've been talking to Peggy. And uh, for all of you who don't know Peggy, she's had horses out here for quite a few years. Uh, she trains for the Gray family and uh, they're very heavily into horses out here. She has five horses out here this year. Wow. Five racing. So she's really excited and I would be too if I had that many horses out here and uh, she's looking forward to some wins. Yeah, that'd be good. Yes, and then uh, we have uh, Susie and her husband who have horses out here this year as well who are running. And unfortunately, Susie's out of town this weekend, so she won't be able to see her horse run and win, as she said earlier. That's right. <laughs> so, you know, we, we know a lot of people out here. We come out every year for this because we really do enjoy it. And we've met a lot of good people with a lot of animals from year to year. They switch up horses, they sell horses and all that. But they're out here every year with their horses and ready to run. And right now, we are on the back side at the Marion County Fairgrounds. And you can hear them getting the track together for the next race, which is going to be taking place here shortly. Yes, and uh, we've seen a lot of action back here on the backside so far. Horses trying to get ready to get out for the races, and some are ready, some are not ready. Some are a little belligerent, some are, you know, pretty cool about it. And uh, But uh, it's, it's a lot of energy back here. Right. And you can see some of the different uh, barns are back here, one in the background there. We're going to get a chance to maybe look around a little bit back here then see some of the race and move up to the front and see what's going on there. Yes. A lot of stables back here where the horses are kept. A uh, lot of love back here because these animals are really loved by their owners, as you can tell by the way they're kept. They're rubbed, they're babied, they're talked to. Uh, you just wouldn't believe how baby these okay. horses are. But that's, that's what it takes, you know, to, uh, to get a winner you know, to get that winning horse out here. So uh, we really enjoy talking to all those people. We want to say that our coverage of the Marion County Harness Racing at the Marion County Fair 2013 is being brought to you in part by Citizens National Bank of Lebanon. This is Yvonne, and I'm with Bud Davis. How are you doing, Bud? Very fine. And Mary Ellen Phillips. How are you doing, Mary Ellen? Well, I'm fine. I'm, I love horse racing. Okay. <laughs> now, Bud, Mary Ellen has told me that you've been around horses for an awful long time. You want to uh, tell us a little bit about that? About a lifetime. A lifetime? <laughs> yeah, started driving my race, first race when I was 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Raced about 50 years, raced all over the country. Uh -huh. Grand Circuit horses. And raced, well, I trained Red Mile at uh, Lexington, raced horses all over the country. New York, California, Chicago, everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's still, you come back to Marion County. I just come back. We, I live in Lexington, Kentucky now, uh -huh. and I thought I'd come down here and watch the races. Okay. Yeah. Now you said you did some uh, racing at the uh, Red Mile up in Lexington. Oh yes, okay. did for years. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Trained there. All right. Yeah. Well, tell us. I know you said you started young. What right. was that first horse's name? Well, <clears throat> first horse was Commando. One hit. <laughs> okay. Can't forget that. No, you can't. <laughs> first, first horse I ever won with. I was 18 years old. Uh huh. And what, what did you do with your winnings? Well, bought some ice cream or something. <laughs> I forgot what it was. That was a long time ago. You didn't have a girlfriend to spend it on? Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's, where the, that's where the ice cream came in. There you right? go. There you go. <laughs> but I, I'm from Terre Haute, Indiana, originally. Uh -huh. I raced, uh, first race is over in Illinois. Oh, where in Illinois? Bra Brownstown, Illinois. Okay. Just on the other side of Martinsville. You know, you're acquainted with that. But, but I, I raced, like I say, I raced everywhere, but uh -huh. fairs and and uh, paramutual races all over. Okay. Now, did were you doing anything else or, j or just racing? Well, I was in the Marine Corps, early okay. 50s, over in Korea about 12 months, something mm -hmm. like that. 
Okay. So that was tough going over there, yeah, early 50s. Right. So you did have a break in your racing there for Not a while. that time, But yeah. you came back to it. Come back. I'm retired now, just taking it easy. Okay. Why is it that you like racing so much? What is it? Well, my father was in it all his life, and his father, mm -hmm. they shod and trained horses. Okay. So all it's sort of in your DNA then, huh? That's right. There oh. you go. <laughs> there you go. Ray's right in the business there. All right. Well, listen, thank you so much for talking to us this evening. And uh, we're awfully glad that you've had such a great career in horse racing. Okay. okay, thank you. Hi, this is Yvonne, and I'm here with... Barry Armstrong. And Barry, you are a driver. No, trainer. 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 Okay. I know I saw you out there on the, the horse. Yep, warm them up, yep. Get, getting all that taken care of. Yep, getting all taken care of. Tell us a little bit about what you do to get a horse ready. Uh, get them all harnessed up, get them trained up through the week, mm -hmm. jogged up, get them in fit shape, and then... Uh, Racing. <laughs> okay. How long have you been training? Uh, 18 years now. 18. Always here in Marion County? No, I'm from Canada. You're from Canada? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Well, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that the horse we just saw you put away. Uh, she just won that race in 2-3, lifetime mark for a two-year-old filly. Okay. What's her name? Uh, Caribbean Jewel. Caribbean Jewel. Yep. Okay. Yeah, she's a nice horse. She's uh, three out of four this year. Mm -hmm. uh, she last week she made a break on us. Yeah. Move the hobbles in a little bit and the race good. Okay, well, she looks like a really good horse there yep. and uh, she's got a lot of spirit too. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that when you brought her in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so much for talking to us okay. and sharing your horse with us today. No problem. All right. Thanks a lot.